All right on. Aloha, everybody. Welcome back to the Think Tech Hawaii studio. We've got another exciting episode of Security Matters for you. And this is one of my favorite topics of the year. It's a two-year-old program. We're going to be talking about the security industry associations, women in security forum. And I know that's a mouthful, but the women in security forum is sponsoring a scholarship. This is our second year. Um, last year was amazing. And I've got Cameron Javdani with us here today who helped uh, with last year's campaign. He's also volunteering on this year's campaign. And our surprise guest, we've got Cassia Hansen, who is the chairman of the Women in Security Forum now, who's just joined as chair, taking over from Maureen Carlo. She was with us today, and I can assure you it's difficult to get on her calendar. So we're happy to have you both today. Uh, again, thank you so much for being here, and thank you for helping with the Women in Security Forum. It's a uh, uh, as the first guy, you know, vo uh, volunteered to join that group, I um, it's a it's a, a close passion for me. Yeah, well, thanks for having us, and yeah, we're excited to have you involved and Cameron involved, and um, the team's been doing an amazing job on the scholarship fundraising, and um, so excited to talk about that today and, and the work. And we have a couple other things up our sleeves that we can share uh, as well. So. Ah, bonus coverage. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. bonus coverage on charitable give back and um, what's happening at ISC West. So you 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 tell us where you want us to go, Andrew, here. And uh, okay, I get to drive. I get yeah. to drive. So uh, let's talk, Cameron, Cameron, let's talk about last year. Let's talk about the success that we had. And it was sort of unexpected, unprecedented during during the pandemic. And just your thoughts on how that went. Um, and then those final awards, because they were large, and, and we had a lot of them, you know, it was amazing. Yeah, I think, Andrew, when we got started on last year's campaign, it was about March of 2020. And if you remember March of 2020, the first half was going okay, and then the second half, everything across the country stopped. So in the middle of everything shutting down and, and freezing in place, we start reaching out to companies saying, hey, I know there's so much uncertainty right now and you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring, but can we have some money to better the lives of young <laughs> professionals in our, in our industry? And you know what? They said yes. We raised a, an incredible sum of money over a few weeks last year, uh, and I believe the scholarship program awarded 12 scholarships uh, that were a little above $6,000 a piece which given the landscape of last year, it was just an incredible outpouring from our industry. Um, now, when we look to this year and we say, well, okay, the conditions in the market are, are better than they were last year. There's still that uncertainty, but things are, are objectively better. And now, uh, hey, we're doing the same program again and look at the impact that we had last year on the lives of these 12 scholarship recipients. Uh, and I am just, I, I'm incredibly uh, grateful to our industry. I'm blown away by the response in our industry. And over the course of the last four or five weeks since we started fundraising in 2021, um, we've raved, raised from the industry more money than we did last year, um, which is uh, an incredible testament to the strength of this program and the commitment among leadership in our industry to get involved and, and make a positive impact. And I think it's really important. I mean, the team has done an amazing job. Um, the industry is responding. I think it's also important too to, to, to you know, call out the, the deadline for applying for scholarships. I believe it's this week, right, Cameron? It's um, tomorrow. Tomorrow. So you, you still have time. And you know, I think the, the interesting thing is it's for any SIA member company, um, you know, if someone has some education debt, you know, they just finished school and they have some debt or maybe they want to get a certification, um, you know, you can apply. So there's still time to do it, um, which is, uh, which is exciting. Yeah. And, and our, our industry came out, I, I don't know that maybe, maybe Cassia called them and bugged them. They, I know I call and chew on their legs about donating. Um, and I mean, this is a cause that's uh, obviously we saw the benefit. We had folks last year who were able to pay off student debt, finish up a master's degree, things like that. Right. So some amazing things that you know may not have happened, right? In in given the especially given the pandemic, and this year I think we'll have some more of those great stories to tell. Um, I did. Uh, I know that we are over ten applicants this year in our in our program. So get um, your applications in. Um, maybe you'll have till Friday. I'll just throw that out there. But the official deadline is the thirtieth. Um, so don't wait any longer. What is that? Is today tomorrow? Yeah, today's the 29th, right? So. Um, you know, I, I, I encourage you to get in there and compete. Um, it is a competitive process. So, you know, don't, um, 
don't hold back on the sharing of the information when you're answering the questions. Um, there's a team uh, dedicated to grading that. Another, we have part of our committee that, uh, you know, calls for sponsorship and calls for donations from industry. We have another part of our committee that um, grades the responses from all of the uh, part the uh, applicants. And I, all, almost all of them made the cut last year. I don't think every one of them made the cut, but you know, you should apply. You should put your best foot forward. You should put the information in there. Uh, make yourself a standout candidate, and um, you know, collect on this. We've, to Cameron's point, you know, we collected. I think more money than we did last year already. So these could be very sizable scholarships uh, based on the final number of, of um, awardees that you know qualify. Then we just divide up all the money. So we're not keeping any. <laughs> I, I think it's important to call out. You know, you don't have to just be out of college to apply for a scholarship, right? Um, you know, you can be further along in your career and decide, hey, I, I want to get that certification. I think that's really going to help me or I want to get, um, you know, take some additional classes that are going to help me further my career or whatever it may be. So I think that's the exciting part is it's not just limited to, you know, folks that just got out of school. And I know I finished up a certification myself, a, a, you know, earlier in the year. Um, but it's little things like that, you know, and, you know, there are a couple thousand dollars sometimes, you know, and you do an eight week course and, you know, it makes a, makes a world of difference. So um, super excited to see what the, uh, the recipients, who the recipients are and, and how they use the money and, and how it can impact their lives. So I think it's exciting. Yeah, and we'll, we'll bring uh, definitely media to that. And we're, you know, we're also going to bring media to our awardees. So it's a chance to kind of get yourself out there in the industry, get yourself a little better known, um, you know, kind of get on other people's radar. If your career is, if you see your career moving around, maybe you're going to stay where you're at and move up. Maybe you want to jump over and try something else new. Our industry is broad. And, you know, the, the types of education that help people in our industry is also broad. So, um, you know, that, that diversity of thought is a, is a thing that I think we're all striving for to improve our industry. Um, and I, I think we're looking to pull talent from outside of our industry um, into our industry as well. Cassie, you came out of IT, you know, I mean, I used to tell folks that in, Intel wasn't really around, it seemed like they were inside everything, but they weren't in the, in the booth and in the show, right? And now, you, you know, in the last few years, it's been super refreshing uh, to have Intel come in and bring a, a wealth of influence and a wealth of information to our industry and, and kind of partner up with us. Um, was that sort of strategic on your part or did they kind of lay that in your lap and say, um, hey, you know, the security industry needs help, Cassie, go figure it out. <laughs> you know, we, um, it, it was an opportunity that was, you know, I was in our storage business and um, opportunity came to join IoT and get experience. And then they said, oh, it happens to do with video. and. Um, it was a really exciting, uh, really small team, but um, a lot of impact. And, I, you know, I jumped in and, and learned. So, yeah, you know, consistently encouraging people to jump into this industry. Um, it's, it's an important industry. Um, it's exciting. I, I think it's um, a lot of folks that, you know, have helped me along the way in mentoring and teaching me, you know, even asking the dumb questions around, of security, you know, and just say, hey, can I double check? Am I am I making sense here? You know, there's a lot of great folks in the industry to learn from. So, and and that um, then you know really helped me um, get even more hungry for you know continuing my education. Um, so completing you know and looking into the cyberspace, for example. So there's just so much this industry brings. So um, you know, really really happy that I've been in it and. Uh, can't say enough about it and the people in it. Yeah, and, and alongside your leadership, I just want to let everybody know Intel puts its money where its mouth is, and they also donated to our scholarship program this year. So thank you uh, for your influence on that, uh, as well as the team at Sound Secure, Cameron. I happen to know that you guys donated last year and this year, and you're leading the industry by helping work on the committee. So I want to thank you for that and give you your props for that stuff. Um, what, what do you think is the, the sort of the biggest gain we get, you know, for the Women in Security Forum by, you know, having a scholarship fund and promoting it? You know, do, are we going to gain more followership? Or are we just going to gain that, that, you know, blessing from industry as a, as a valued partner with our, our rest of our industry team? You know, what's the, what do you think the number one sort of takeaway is so far with this program? Because it's still new. Well, 
Andrew, I think the, 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 the primary goal or the primary objective behind the scholarship for the Women in Security Forum is to provide an opportunity for professional development and advancement. Now that means different things to different people. So as you just mentioned, uh, there are a number of different ways that the scholarship funds can be utilized, be it for professional training, repayment of student loans, uh, courses, trade show attendance, all, all sorts of things that will help a recipient get ahead in their career. Now, what happens when you have an industry now of folks who have advanced in their skill set, gotten ahead in their career? It makes our organizations more effective. It makes our companies do bigger things better. Uh, so it's a rising tide in our industry that will positively impact uh, all, all of us because at some point or another in an industry as small as ours, we all work together in some way, shape or form, right? So we're starting out by making an investment of the future, uh, both in terms of the, the committee at SIA, the Women in Security Forum Committee, and the donor companies as well, because we all see the long-term benefit of making an investment in our future workforce and our future leaders. Um, so at, at its core, it's about making our industry better. And the way we do that is providing the opportunities to folks to advance in their careers and develop new skills and try new things and, and get better at the things that they already do. So it's an exciting thing to get involved at the ground floor of a long-term campaign. Um, and just in the, the span of two years that we've been doing it, it's exciting to see, to see positive impact already. Yeah, absolutely yeah. agree, hundred percent, hundred percent. And the other, I want to mention another campaign as well to to sort of you know we've had the scholarship campaign happening, right? Um, such an amazing effort. The team has raised money. It's going to help people. We'll get to learn more about the people they get the scholarships. But um, it's just it's the right thing to do, right? By helping to bring the industry forward and people in the industry who want to grow and and helping bring them forward. But the second piece of that is our give back campaign. So I don't want to, um, you know, uh, leave this call without mentioning the give back campaign. And the team's been working really, really hard to um, develop that what that's going to look like. Um, so you know, anybody that's going to ISB West, um, the give back campaign will be benefiting the Dress for Success um, in Southern Nevada. Um, and so instead of clothing, um, you know, because some people are still online and whatnot, you can bring like small items. Um, and there will be collection bins throughout ISB West, um, but you can bring notes of encouragement, you can bring makeup, you know, there's Walgreens and CVS nearby, you can go and buy stuff there, you don't even have to pack it and bring it, but so we're making it really easy to give back and um, it'll benefit a, an amazing organization that's trying to help women um, in, in the workforce. That's awesome. I love it. I want to, um, we're going to jump to the break and I'm going to get, take you up on that makeup thing because I know I need some of that today. But the, um, we're, we're going to pay some bills. Uh, I want to hear more about what's planned for the Women's Security Forum going forward this year. And uh, we'll be right back with Cameron and uh, Cassia. Stick around. Zenitel. Aloha. Are we back? Hey, everybody. Thanks for, thanks for joining us. We were trying to hunt up some information, but we're back and we're, we're live. So uh, excuse the hiccup there. Um, so we've got not only our scholarship program, which is, um, I think, off to a great start. We're talking about in two years time, having given out, I think, by the time this campaign's done this year, $150,000 or more amongst uh, uh, oh, well over 20, maybe 25 um, awardees. So amazing start there. Um, I've been beating on Don um, to maybe make it a, um, a uh, establish like a long-term fund um, so that we could have folks, um, you know, make a perpetual donation um, and, uh, um, you know, make that. It's also currently we're not listed as a, um, a um, tax tax exempt donation. So I think that might even help us make it a little bit bigger. Maybe we could endow the thing over time uh, where we can build a fund that gives out a substantial amount of, of scholarships each year. So I think this program just in its beginning is has a lot of opportunity to impact the industry for a very long time. And I'm super proud of that. And, 
And the Women's Security Forum is um, a, a very, I think Maureen did two years. So this is only our third year as a forum. Um, I'm off the steering committee now. Cameron got volun voluntold, oh, maybe told. by Maureen, I'm not sure. Cameron got in there to help the steering committee now. So he's working for Cassie, in case y'all don't know. Um, but anyway, um, what um, what what other things you think will will come from this, or what are the what other types of um, initiatives you think this year we could yeah. build out of the security forum with the momentum that we've got? We've got I think 800 members or so. Yeah, we you know so uh, first of all um, uh, have an amazing steering committee. Um, we got together last week as well. Um, have had some great leadership. You know Maureen as the past chair, and she's on the steering committee as well. Um, and Cameron joining, we have some new folks that have joined the steering committee. Um, so, you know, we've started, you know, looking at the different pillars, right, of, of what are we trying to do and what are we trying to accomplish with Women's Security Forum. And, and, and it really comes back to what are we doing to serve the members, right, and serve the forum. And, and what do they need from us, right? I know, Andrew, you and I have talked before about, you know, um, getting feedback from the forum and the forum members. And, um, you know, so we have done that. Uh, we did a survey, we got some feedback. Um, you know, we really, um, you know, was really appreciative to get the feedback that we did receive um, around what the, the members need. Um, I believe, I'm gonna say, you know, I think we can double the membership over the next year. I think there's a lot more women wow. in history than just 800. So I think we'll be able to double the membership. Um, we have, uh, you know, some great, um, efforts, you know, planned, um, I kind of bucket in three areas, right? Connect, grow, and impact, right? How do we connect with one another, network? Uh, professional development is gonna be really important. Cameron mentioned, you know, scholarship funds really important because, you know, the feedback for us from the forum has been um, professional development, you know, networking, education, um, you know, so we're, we're planning some things, um, uh, you know, throughout the year that are going to deliver professional development to the forum, as well as some ideas for next year at IC, by the way, um, and maybe it's a, a larger conference for Women in Security Forum that encompasses a lot of skills development and, and additional professional development. Wow. Um, you know, then there's, of course, growing, right? How do we help each other grow as an industry and as individuals? Um, so through like mentorship programs or, you know, scholarship for sure will help. Awards and recognition. I know we've talked about that before. Um, we've created a subcommittee around awards and recognition, working mm. with the industry to bring together what does that look like, right? Um, what is the, my experience in the IT channel, they have some, some pretty good um, recognition uh, programs that uh, we might be able to use some best practices from uh, to create a, you know, a women in security um, recognition program. So, so some good things happening there, um, can share more later. And then of course, we're trying to grow the speaker bureau. Um, uh, you know, there's a lot of great women out there that have a lot to say and have some expertise in their areas. And we have a women's security forum speaker bureau, and we would love to have more women in that speaker bureau so that we can get them visibility and opportunities to grow, especially in public speaking, for example. And it might be panels, it might be presentations or teaching classes or doing trainings, it, you know, uh, more sharing experiences, but we, we'd love to build that speaker bureau. And then, you know, the last part is the impact and that's really around the charitable giving, um, you know, very large team supporting the charitable giving um, pillar and really proud of that team for pulling together such an amazing um, effort for ISC West. Um, and then, of course, we're, um, you know, looking, uh, we've created another new subcommittee around industry partnerships. So how uh -huh. are we reaching into other um, women's groups, such as, you know, women in cyber or as is, and how, how are we partnering up with other women's organizations, um, you know, build it, part of that will be building up the speaker bureau. And then, of course, um, you know, what are we doing with our, the CM members who have women's groups and so forth. So Maureen's going to head that up for us. So lots, wow. lots to do, um, lots of work, but at the end of the day, everything we're doing um, is linking back to value to the to the members um, and, and to the forum. So I'm really wow. excited about it. Yeah, lot, it's, lots it's, to do. We're rolling up our sleeves. <laughs> yeah, it sounds, I was gonna say, it sounds like Cameron's gonna be busy. He does have a company to run, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the, this, um, it, it's interesting that, you know, you bring that up because the, particip the participation piece um, is sort of what spawned this. We had, 
you know, members asking how, what can I do to participate in the forum? I said, well, let's start a scholarship committee and we can go out and get members to join that committee to help us, you know, A, collect monies or, or you know, um, canvas for donations, I think is the appropriate terminology. And then the, um, the other half was to, you know, somebody's going to have to grade. And so that ended up being, I think we had 12 last year, Cameron, in, in our, on our committee. So, you know, the opportunities are there for these subcommittees. Um, and I I'd encourage anyone that's watching, uh, in, if you, you know, if you're in the industry, please join the Women's Security Forum. If you're in the Women's Security Forum, try to join one of these committees, reach out and ask how you can help, because there's no better way to really get to know the people in the industry than to, you know, stamp your name on an effort that is having an impact or creating education or doing a, um, uh, a sharing some of the, the knowledge and stuff that, you know, we're all trying to, um, I guess, uh, open up to or open up the channels to uh, for uh, other people to participate, you know, so, uh, you know, to Cassie's point, this is um, especially if we're going to double, like if we get to 1600 by the end, that'd be awesome, you know, so there's just so much more opportunities to meet people and to learn. Um, Cameron, what, what was your initial take? I know, um, you know, when they when they called for the, uh, you were on the, the committee last year to help with the scholarship, and now now you get to call, hey, can you join our steering committee? And then, of course, Cassie only has like one or two plans, not 30. But, you know, what What was your, um, you know, what was your initial take on, you know, even just guys being on the Women in Security Forum? Well, I, Andrew, I think... Um, uh... I think when we look at the membership of the security forum uh, steering committee, and then we compare it to what our industry looks like, where it's you know overwhelmingly male, um, I think my role on the steering committee, in addition to advising in an area I might have some subject matter expertise in marketing or in um, you know we did okay in fundraising, but um, you know there are other members of the committee who are are uh, doing a much better job than I am. But I think that we can communicate that the Women in Security Forum membership and involvement um, isn't just for men, or excuse me, isn't just for women, it includes men as well. And there's no sign on the door that says no boys allowed, right? So we need to get involved. Um, you've, you've led the way both in fundraising and in, in speaking at different events. Um, and that's a model that we can all follow. So regardless of gender, regardless of your position in the industry, whether you're, you're new out of school or, or you know, uh, your first job as a career role, uh, or whether you've been doing this for 40 plus years, get involved because the, the contributions we can all make uh, better our industry, right? So again, looking back at, at what it does to our industry to have these resources available, and if the number one thing that the membership of the Women in Security Forum is looking for is professional development, uh, and I think number two was networking and number three might have been industry news or industry relations, um, we don't get that if we're not involved with each other. We don't get that if we don't talk to each other. Um, and I do want to recognize you, Andrew, for something that I think you were too modest about earlier in recognizing some of our donors. IST is also a donor to the Women in Security Forum Scholarship. So thank you and IST for your support. Uh, and for all the gentlemen in our industry watching, the, the, the water is just fine. Jump in and get involved with us. You can find me on LinkedIn. You can find Kasi on LinkedIn. Just send us a note and ask how to get involved. Um, one final thing I want to bring up too is that at ISC West in just a few weeks, we'll be having a breakfast on the morning of Wednesday, July 21st with NASCAR driver Julia Landauer. Uh, how awesome is that to have a NASCAR driver speak at ISC West? Uh, but that's a fantastic opportunity to meet other folks in the, in the various committees. It's a fantastic uh, opportunity just to hear an amazing keynote from uh, an inspirational NASCAR driver. Uh, but that's how I got my start with the Women in Security Forum. Uh, I just showed up to this breakfast a few years ago. Maureen Carlo invited me. I said, sure, happy to help out and lend a hand however I can, uh, and just started getting involved. And by the way, starting getting involved meant, hey, we're having a call about something. Can you join? Um, sure, I can. What can I contribute? Don't worry about it. Just get on the call. And then you start <laughs> incrementally uh, making contributions and, and seeing how you can help the, the various programs. So please get involved. We'll see everyone at ISC West. And, uh, you know, to... Your point, Andrew, and what Cassia said, there is uh, there are no shortage of ways to get involved and to make an impact. There is a broad, aggressive agenda coming up for the Women in Security Forum. So we're looking for volunteers. I love that, broad and aggressive. <laughs> but we're on a mission. We are on a mission, that's for sure. So I think uh, 
the breakfast, the one thing about the the NASCAR driver that we're excited about is she's going to talk about fear, right? Um, you know, in business and in life, there's, you know, fear can creep in, right, to your life. And um, and the thing I love about it is, you know, men and women have, you know, enjoy NASCAR, for example. So um, there's no shortage of topics, I think, in the keynote for men or women. So we definitely want to see everyone there and look forward to it. It's Wednesday at 8.30 at ISC. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I really encourage you, uh, you folks, men and women alike, go check out the Women in Security Forum. Um, get check out everything we're doing. We've got a page up on LinkedIn. It talks about a lot of the initiatives. There's, there's a lot of information there. And this group already 800 strong. Cassie's on a mission to double it. Um, this, this is going to be probably one of the preeminent groups in the industry. And when you go to the meetings, you'll see that the who's who of the industry is already in there. So if you want to get to know the who's who, there you go. There's a great way to, to meet them all. Um, I, I, I really am looking forward to it. I have to leave Vegas early, unfortunately. I'm not going to be there Wednesday morning, which is a bummer. But um, I hear there may be a, a sneak announcement about this program, the scholarship program. I don't know what, what we'll know by then. But anyway, I'm looking forward. I'm hoping that uh, they can share some, uh, some successes uh, for this program. And um, again, I want to thank you both for joining me today. I want to thank you both for helping out uh, the, the security, the Women in Security Forum. Um, you know, obviously, this is a, it's an amazing effort, and the scholarship effort is just one of the great things we're doing. So, Cassia, thank you. Cameron, thank you for your time today. I know you're both busy folks. Thank Appreciate you. you coming on Security Matters and sharing, and I will see you uh, in Las Vegas on Monday the 19th, I think. Yeah. See you in Las Vegas, Andrew. Woo! We'll see you All back. right, everybody. Cameron, Take Collins. care out, everybody. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks. Aloha, everybody. Take care. We'll see you at ISC West.